What is going on YouTube? Kachin93 here with a remaster tutorial for my finger pass reverse uh, tutorial. Now I actually don't know if I made a finger pass reverse tutorial. I just kind of figured that everyone would figure out how to do a finger pass reverse because um, as I mentioned in the finger pass tutorial, which again I kind of think is a prereq for this, um, the pass is the simplest way to get a pen from one finger slot to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, and when you link them all together, that gets you a finger pass. The finger pass reverse or the pass reverse is the exact opposite as the name would imply. Uh, and it looks something like this. So just like in the finger pass tutorial I mentioned, and as you guys saw, it is clearly okay to be a little bit choppy at doing finger passes and finger pass reverses. I myself struggle very much with this trick, uh, which is probably why I didn't want to do a tutorial on it in the first place, but seeing as I just did the finger pass in a remastered form, I felt like I was you know, doing something uh, fundamentally wrong, <laughs> get it fundamentally wrong, um, by not doing the finger pass reverse. So despite the fact that I'm bad with it, it's okay because again, the concept that we're trying to get across here and trying to learn is how to do a pass reverse and how to do each pass reverse that's possible, how to do that successfully such that when you do other tricks or hybrids that require a pass reverse, you know how to do it and you're able to do so. So the finger pass reverse, wow, that was actually pretty good for me anyway. <laughs> um, Instead of do it, you know, you do kind of you pass the pen on the opposite side of the finger. You know, uh, I mentioned in the finger pass tutorial that you you use three fingers in a pass, two one two to two three in this case. But a pass reverse, instead of going in front of the middle finger here, like this. Wow, that was bad. Like this, you're going behind. So you're going like that. It's a very subtle thing. But again, it's very uh, intuitive of what you have to do. However, I find the finger pass reverse a lot harder simply because, you know, the finger pass reverse, or the, the finger pass rather, um, it requires your fingers to bend inward, which is really natural for us because this is how we grip things. But when you do the finger pass reverse, your fingers have to go kind of beyond and like kind of really extend beyond what they're doing because they're going backwards. They're going like this, it's stretching behind things a lot. And while it's still very doable, it's not as comfortable uh, to do so. And just because I think that's why I find it hard, even though I'm able to bend my fingers back like this, which again, freaks some people out. Um, it's still very difficult for me, particularly at the lower finger pass reverses or the lower pass reverses. So you want to do the same motion, just backwards, I guess, or inverse, however you want to call that. Um, so you want to, I'm going to reference the top, middle, and bottom fingers in this trick. Um, you want to take the top finger, push it back. That's, in, that's naturally going to make the pen go up. At least this part that's close to you is going to make it go up like that. And then you want to have your, this is really hard to do actually. You actually kind of want to take your bottom finger and push it back a little bit. That way, when you, is there a good angle on this at all? I guess that's the best one. Um, you want to push that bottom finger back behind the top and the middle finger because when you push your top finger um, back like that, the pen needs to go between the finger slot that's between the middle and the bottom fingers. That would be like that in this case. And then when you get the pen here, you're going to want to take that bottom finger, close it in on that middle finger, and then let go by taking that index finger and pushing it even further out. So that's how you do a pass reverse. Again, three fingers involved like that. And from kind of this angle, push that bottom one out, push back with that top one, clamp down with the bottom one, and then release with the top one. And there you go. So you do that again with these bottom three. This is harder because the pinky is shorter and you're not able to grip it at or grab it as easily. But again, it's still doable and just takes a lot of practice. I myself never practiced 
passes really uh, i just kind of assumed oh when i ever whenever i need it i'll just do it uh so i never got really smooth at them and never really got good at them which is probably what's hindering me with regards to um, linkages and stuff however being able to do certain tricks not so much um so doing that is fine doing the passes that go up the hand or the pass reverse that go up the hand is very challenging for me probably because i don't have the right timing down um but when you do the pass reverse from three four to two three which is this uh you want to make sure that the top finger again i'm going to call this the top finger of the set of three you want to bring that in first same reason as before so that when you move that bottom finger this time you're moving the bottom finger towards you the pen goes up you want to move that top finger back and then you want to release that bottom finger and then the same of course is for three or two three to one two and even if you want to go for, uh, from uh, one two to t1 or you know the opposite way uh, t1 to one two you can do it that way as well um, the thing is when you're doing it in a finger pass your middle finger is kind of in a crappy spot because you were just holding on to the pen here and quickly you have to go from being behind the pen to in front of, in front of this half of the pen so did you see what happened there when you're doing the finger pass reverse you're going from here you're doing this the middle finger here is behind the pen behind relative to you again it has to go it has to go from here which is the extended position so that the pen can spin past it to in front of this part that's coming around here and that is what I think makes the finger pass reverse so challenging is that that middle finger has to go from all the way extended out to essentially all the way curled in and then even clear the pen so that it doesn't hit it. And then it comes right back up. So that middle finger is very busy in a finger pass reverse and in general in pass reverses. So that is what I think makes the trick difficult. So just practice uh, that pa uh, that pass sequence specifically uh two three to three four and then three four to two three see i'm even struggling with it now uh just do that and then eventually it'll become muscle memory i still haven't really committed to muscle memory but uh that is what the finger pass reverse looks like and that's how you do it hopefully that all makes sense if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below but that wraps up my finger pass slash pass reverse tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe for more content in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next video.